I am sorry that I am not in our country at this time of crisis. I acknowledge that we are now indeed experiencing a crisis in our country. An apologetic president praying for peace returning from a trip to Fiji for the Pacific Islands Forum. His country now fighting to contain COVID in the community for the first time country. ever. Many of you are becoming sick or are watching your family become sick and lives and livelihoods are being impacted. You are hungry for information and starving for solutions. My duty is to provide these for you. The president in our KUAM studio on Guam filming a PSA amid the COVID surge. He says the first community case was found on July 19, but how a positive case appeared when the FSM's borders were sealed shut since January 2020 is not known. They reported nearly 700 cases in the last day alone. But there aren't any plans to delay the reopening of those borders. Will the FSM open its borders on August 1st, 2022? Yes. The FSM will fully open its borders on August 1st, 2022. The president is expected to make his way home on that day. Anyone who wishes to travel to the FSM will need to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19, including booster doses, if eligible, and must have physical possession of a negative COVID-19 test result conducted via a PCR test within 72 hours of their departure from Hawaii or Guam to the FSM. He says the FSM has enough vaccines for everyone, just as they report that 75% of those five years and older are fully vaccinated and more than half of those older than 45 are boosted. The COVID-19 treatment Paxlovid and monoclonal antibodies for more than 21,000 people are available. The president says CDC teams from the U.S. will aid communities in Pohnpei and Koh Rai, and the same help will be sent to Chuk and Yap if cases are confirmed there. These are dark days, but we will endure beyond them. The sun will rise tomorrow, and we will adapt to and overcome. The COVID president is expected to issue a decree on July 30th requiring mask wearing in public places and for those who are sick to get tested and to stay home. He's also urging the public to stay home except for essential business. I think the word